Hey, this is Sean with the Linux Tube. How you guys doing? We're live here from Tacoma. Wanted to show you a new fedora I found. The gaming spin. Spin. There we go. Today we're going to take a look at Fedora, uh, Fedora Game Spin. It is an ISO and a spin of Fedora that they've basically compiled all the native Linux games into and made it into an ISO that you install. Completely launched and ready to go. It is a four gigabyte download though. It's a huge ISO. It's got 1,305 packages in it. It uses the XFCE desktop and the Light DM Manager. So. Let's go ahead and take a look. It takes about 20 minutes to download and then another 15 minutes to upgrade it. Update yeah, it, update so it and it all that like, good stuff. So We didn't want to go through all that with you guys, so we all already right. did that and we're ready to go. Yep, yeah, so here we go. We're going to take a look at it in this virtual machine. Oh, in this virtual machine, it has four cores and six gigs of RAM. And this is what you're look what you're met with when you log in. Uh, it's actually the typical standard Fedora wallpaper. For those of you that are not familiar with XFCE, we'll go ahead and take a look at it really quickly. XFCE has a panel at the top. In the left hand section upper left hand section you have your application launcher okay in the right hand of the same panel you have your user and your power session okay so it tells you which user you're logged into and you can shut down or whatever it is that you need to do restart whatever go to it's sleep. also got your huh to go to sleep yep. yeah it's also got your time and date along with your calendar in there if you click on it, it opens up your calendar it's got your uh, notifications your power management for your computer uh, if you're on battery like laptops or what have you it's also got your pavu volume control icon up here it's got the dnf dragora package updater uh which is dnf dragora for those people that don't know this uses zipper package manager this is a gui front end for it like your synaptic package manager uh you click on it it opens it up and you can download packages that way or applications or whatever's in there uh, then it's got your wired internet connection shows you what type of connection you're on and then you got your four different workspaces up here that you can go through uh, down in the bottom in the center you have a dock and on it's got your your desktop show desktop it's got your terminal pin to it your file manager which is Thunar I believe yep it's Thunar and when you look at it it's your standard run-of-the-mill file manager it's got your places on the left where you can go you know quick go to and then you know, for your also your file system and your network uh if you want to browse your network and then in the right hand side panel it's got your your uh home directory that it opens to next to that you have your web browsers which is firefox you've got a application finder uh and then next to that is another it's your home directory that you click onto and you can go right to the folders so another place to find your files um, yeah another place to find Search files, files right <laughs> uh also most people don't know with xfc if you right click on the desktop you oh. can create launcher you can create a folder uh you have a drop down menu there. you can open up terminal you can arrange the icons on your desktop you can also do your desktop settings but what's cool is you have another application launcher as well so you can go through here and it's literally the same as the app launcher that's up in the left hand panel so if you want to customize the panel, get rid of that, make a small dock in the center. Hey, you can do that as well. So now let's go ahead and open up the applications panel. See, you got your regular pinned programs that are commonly used ones such as terminal emulator, file manager, mail reader, web browser, which all except for the mail reader is all the same thing that's on your dock down below. Then in settings, you have all the different settings. Ooh, look at have. all those settings. Holy crap. From the yeah. saver to the volume control, your workspace your i'm um, sorry window manager and your window manager tweaks so you can tweak the tweak for the window manager as well uh dnf dragora yeah, so you, you know, probably change the color of the icons and color profiles yeah all kinds your of your mouse yeah, you and... click on on appearance here's where you can do your styles like you can do all these different themes wow. icons yeah. fonts and different settings that you can apply cool yeah it, you, it's it's all at your fingertips here i mean it, it it's very customizable uh, under administration you've got your dnf dragora with its updater you got the firewall and you got your language so you can install multiple languages say you want to install filipino you can do that or taiwanese or whichever is available out there russian spanish under accessories you have bulk name clipboard manager disk which is kind of cool this has got gnome disks installed and it's version 42 uh this is like g parted but it's um much cleaner and neater um it's more modern looking and feeling you have many of the same functions that you can do there you can do 
as well as here. <clears throat> this is where you'd see, like, if I plugged in a thumb drive or an external hard drive, this would pop up right here. Yeah, like, and I'd be able to move right files here on around. the cog gear, you, you highlight the partition, you can edit the partition, you can do whatever you want, resize it, do all kinds of stuff, right? You can restore a partition, you can create a partition image, you can do all kinds of stuff. So it's really nice. It's got, it's got a couple of the old school tools in it as well as the new school tools, like even benchmarking. So anyhow, so that's under accessories, and also you got you can, you know you can do your password and your key. It's your key ring in here. You use screenshot tools in here as well. Under admin, uh, under uh, development, it's got Genie, which is a text editor for developers. Documentation takes you about the XFCE. So if you want to learn more about XFCE, you can certainly visit that. They'll take you to the web page. Education's got Planets and Tux Paint. I don't want to talk about Planets. Planets is a is a game that I thought I'd play. We tried. We tried. <laughs> I love planets. I love astronomy. I got all excited because I love astronomy and I love planets and I love all kinds of science stuff. I, think I open up little... thinking I'm going to look at stars. It's a black freaking screen. <laughs> you click A to add a planet. You click on it. It turns blue and then it falls away like a blue falling star. <laughs> I don't know what happened to it. It's not a planet I know, but it's it's a... If you guys know how to use that program, let me know, please comment down below on how to how to how to use that that program teach us something yes please it's awesome <laughs> under games now this is what makes this whole distribution happening this is where it's at they're all in different categories yep easy to find they're all categorized but yeah RPGs. you know sean was mentioned earlier that there you if you look at all these games for under action adventure under arcade block games board games card games logic and puzzle games role-playing games none of them are for hardcore gamers absolutely they're all so, native linux games what's absent in this distro is your steam your lutris mm -hmm. and your heroic game launcher along with the presence of wine wine tricks or bottles or all three of which would make it a complete package you know right having lots of games and proton yeah yeah so those you'd want to add if you're a hardcore gamer some those, emulators and yeah those are the ones that you're going to download and install he's more of the gaming guy i'm more of the technical kind of guy so he would know more about that kind of stuff but in my opinion those are the games th those are ones that i see search for so but it this does come with a lot of you like i said your native to linux games this should have no problem running on any kind of hardware that you got going. That's what it is. That's what all these are. Is yeah. You don't need a high end computer to run any no, of these. Not so at all. We yeah. ran through a couple of them, and because of the Vert Manager, they had little glitches and stuff like that. But it's because it's in a Vert Manager. It's in a virtual machine. I'm sure if you install it on hard, regular standard run of the mill hardware, you guys are going to be just fine. Yeah. Uh, for graphics, you got the Risotto Image Viewer. It comes with all your drivers downloaded yep, and for absolutely. sound and gaming. And... Yep. Under graphics, you got the Risotto Viewer and Tux Paint. Internet, you got Claws Mail, Firefox, and Pigeon, along with Transmission, which is your BitTorrent client. Right. It comes with a BitTorrent already downloaded. Yep. It's kind of multimedia. You've got Ascender, which is a CD Ripper, Parole Media Player, Paraga, which is another media player as well, video player. Mm. Pa the Pavu Control, and then XF Burn. Then under Office, you have so it's uh, got two media. burners. Yeah. yeah yeah it's got that other one that and then that that other one yeah uh you got pdf viewer you got claws mail you got dictionary and numeric and then under system you have all your system type files thunar task manager uh se linux troubleshooter g parted it's got a, another partition manager this is what i was talking about earlier that the older style the, the one. oil style uh, yeah. yeah older style dated one like i said you know if you look at discs versus this this is a much cleaner more modern feel they both but, work the same it's yep, just they have the same functionality what, what you prefer exactly so there's that in your system and which is funny they come out with more than one what's nice loaded already on it yeah, yeah all the burners and yeah the and the file managers, managers and, yeah. yeah it's like it's what's giving you nice, choices yeah what's nice too is it's got a firewall yeah, installed. it's already. probably firewalled. That what is what the application to have to download but, third party. But, yeah, but it's already in there. Whatever. So, guys, that is a quick and dirty <clears throat> look at. Excuse me. Your excuse. There's no real excuses <laughs> for you, but anyhow, that's a real quick and dirty look at um the Fedora game spin. We got a kick out of it. It was yeah, fun to do. I mean, a lot of those games super simple are games that are small games like what i kind of grew up on like the 8-bit 16-bit yeah. graphic games you know something my kids would enjoy yeah. playing you know you know exactly you know is it something that's the more modern day gamer thing no but it is it's got its use it's got its viability man and i think that i would recommend this to children 
or maybe some somebody that's older that is used to playing those type of games that isn't out trying to play the modern warfares or right. you know yeah uh never winter nights those kind of games just you know? to pass the time yeah just something something, your brain just, exactly you know at ease you know but at any instance let us know what you guys think man please like comment and share also check out our merch yeah linux tube.shop we got all kinds of stuff on there yeah the linux this tube bottle's shop. awesome yeah so also you can visit us on all the social media platforms we're on instagram twitter facebook we're everywhere everywhere yeah we're, we're there comment down below if you have any yeah. suggestions or any questions yeah we love uh interacting with our fans and yeah um if you have any ideas you want us to review something please don't hold back yeah we're, oh. here, we're here for you and don't forget to visit us at our patreon.com the linux tube page if you want to support us please support us there um along with buying our merch um, we could definitely use the support. If you believe in what we're doing, please help us out. With that, I tell you guys, have a great day. Keep on Linuxing and do what you do. Thanks for checking it out. Peace. Uno, dos, tres.